Hello, everyone. My name is Terry Hu, and I play Aspen in Zombies 3. Amazing. So I want to get into the character more, but I also want to just yeah. talk about you and like, you know, how you got your start, you know, your journey into acting and what drew yeah. you into acting. Um, I guess my first intro was when my mom actually put my brothers in acting school when we, were, when we were younger to try to help them build confidence. And naturally, as a younger sibling, I was like, I want to go too. So I kind of just lashed on. And I think it kind of like piqued my interest. But then, you know, I got busy with school, high school, all that stuff. I didn't really focus on it. I got to UCLA and I majored in neuroscience there and I was going to go to physical therapy school. And in my head, I was kind of just like, well, I'll open up a physical therapy clinic eventually and I'll just do community theater. Like that was just like, I guess that kind of just was what I thought. And then I got into um, a bunch of schools and I was about to go, but I was like, you know what, let me just like defer for a year, the first schools for a year. And let me just give acting like one full shot, like just one full shot for a year, which isn't really even enough, you know, but I was like, I was deluding myself. And at the time I had just um, gone to this open casting call for a commercial agency. Um, and so I felt like I had like a foot in the door a little bit. And then in 2018, about a year after I deferred to schools, I won the 2018 uh, digital talent competition from ABC. And I think that kind of gave me like the courage to feel like, oh, I should I should do this. Like, I'm not going to go to school anymore, you know? So I officially turned schools down. And since then I've kind of just been, yeah, like, you know, doing it. Um, and I guess when it, it, to go a little deeper on like what actually brought me into it. I think, you know, there wasn't, I don't think I had one exact aha moment, but I just feel like I remember watching a movie. I don't remember the exact movie, but I remember the feeling and I was like crying from the movie. And I just felt so like, like so much catharsis, probably like heartbreak, whatever, something. And then I, I was like, wow, like I want to, this sounds so corny, but like, I want to affect, like that was the thing that I was thinking about. I want to affect. And so that's kind of what's been driving me, I suppose, yeah. Was a little bit of a long-winded answer but you got no, it no no it. it was wonderful yeah no I yeah. loved it the progress and the getting into actually watching the movies and yeah I feel that's like a big path for a lot of people is just really seeing yeah. what it will actually mean to do it exactly know? like how it affects yeah because there's so much like I'm even learning myself but there's so much about the industry that is not about the art necessarily it's about you know the logistics and all that stuff but um I feel really uh I think when yeah, when you connect with that, it like grounds you for sure, you know. Going into your role, I mean, when you auditioned for this role with Disney and you were looking at the, the role of Aspen, I mean, did you know this was a non-binary character that you were going towards? No, no. so actually, um, firstly, I didn't know that it was Disney. Uh, they used the code name and, you know, Disney keeps it very on lock. Um, and uh, uh, so I had no idea what it was. And funny story, I auditioned for this um, and I don't think that they wrote the characters non-binary. I think they just wrote it as like, honestly, just open, open everything. Right. And I auditioned and my first self tape for it. So like the note that they gave is that the aliens don't have emotions. Like the aliens don't access emotions essentially. And this, that, that's not a huge spoiler. That's part of kind of like, this is the journey for the aliens. Like they um, experience emotions for, for the first time in Seabrook. But I did the tape and my tape was just so deadpan. I was just like, hello hello like I was because I was like no emotion like that's kind of a tricky thing to play my manager calls me and is like well listen like we're gonna need to retape this and so she actually gave me guidance and she was like it's Disney like so you know you kind of like bring a little bit so I retaped it and that's what got me into like the producer session that sort of thing so thank the lord for Hillary my manager but um no I did not know that it was non-binary and actually I believe that the other two aliens uh Kira and Matt they actually auditioned for Aspen as well so I think it was very open and it was only after I was cast and they, you know, found out that I was non-binary and queer and stuff that I think they were like, we'll make Aspen non-binary. And that was something that was really meaningful to me because I think they really like listened to me and just seemed open. I mean, you know, like it was not, it was, it was not even a huge thing, which is crazy because not crazy, but like, I just feel like historically, you know, with not only Disney, but a lot of platforms, it's not like that. Right. Like, um, but it was it definitely really monumental, I think. I do love that they they brought that in and they really incorporated the character. I was working yeah. with people from Queers Folk and it was very similar where we were getting yeah. into that era of like, why not embrace who the yeah. actors are and the characters and really- Yeah, and you know- it together. I, absolutely, and I, I definitely hope that this sort of integration is, I mean, I hope and I know as far as I'm concerned, like it's not a fad, it's not just like a wave, it's not like, a trend it's like this is just integration like we're integrating this into the industry you know and I 
it's here to stay like this sort of diversity, I think, and representation, you know. And so what would it have meant to you growing up if you had seen a movie like Zombies? I mean, because it just embraces diversity. It always yeah. has, even though your character is coming in this in the third installment. Yes, you know, yes. This has been a theme always. So what has so, that been like? Yeah, good question. So when I first watched Zombies, the first one to in order to prepare for the role and stuff, I remember within the first 10 minutes, I was like, ooh, the themes are very clear. Like, you know, and I think they do a good job with like hard topics, but handling it in a simple but powerful way, you know, um, but I, or like handling it in a very artful way, I suppose, like not shoving it in your face, but it's very there, you know? And I think it's like, um, and I guess, you know, growing up, I watched like High School Musical, which I love, by the way, I loved High School Musical, but I think watching this, I was like, oh, these things are very, you know, of the times and like really important to have. And I just think like, I can only imagine growing up having this. I mean, I just didn't even know what non-binary was growing up, for instance, right? And at the time I was just looking for Asian representation. Like, I, I, I don't think I could, I don't think I even knew what it was possible for like what I was allowed to dream of. Does that make sense? Because I was, we're so used to like, you know, the breadcrumbs where we're like, oh my God, thank God. Thank God there is one Asian character that has no personality, but thank God. And it's like, now we're like, you know, a, feeling like we can ask, we should be able to like ask for more, or, you know, and um, that sort of thing. But I think that it would have just opened my eyes like to some of these things earlier or made me feel like permission to feel like, oh yeah, this is okay to feel that I don't feel included or that I don't feel, you know? Um, so I think, um, and on the front of just like Aspen and, you know, identity, I definitely would have gone down a wormhole of like, what, who is this? What is, you know? And like, I always say this, like sometimes you don't even know what you could be until you, you don't even know what's possible for yourself to feel or be until you see an example of it and then you start exploring it. So I think it would have just probably gotten me in touch with my like self or gotten me more accepting of myself and possibilities earlier on. Going off of that, I mean, I'd love to know what would be like a dream role for you. I know you're just starting out in this, but like, you know, imagining what you can do, what you can take yeah. this industry and do. Wow. You know, it's something that honestly, in the past year, I've really tried to um, let go. And I think I've done a good job. But I, I'm, I'm letting go of like destinations for roles because I do think, honestly, there was for so long, I was like, I'm meant to be on that show. I'm meant to be on XYZ. I'm meant to be like, I'm going to be, you know, and sure, like you say that to like amp yourself up, but I think I've kind of let go because I think like, for instance, I never could have imagined doing a musical, literally what, like, but I, it was like everything I didn't know that I, I wanted. Like, it, I'm so glad this is my first feature. I loved it so much. And I'm so glad I'm part of it. It like opened up a lot, a lot of interest for me, like dance and stuff like that. Um, but I guess all this to say is like, honestly, I don't really actually have like one specific one. You know, I think, every actor would love to be on Euphoria, um, you know, so I'm manifesting that out there. But, um, you know, aside from that, like, for me, it's more just like something that honors my identity, but doesn't hinge on it, or it doesn't make it such a thing, and then allows me to kind of explore. Like, Zombies was wonderful, and I think Zombies is a great example of the type of storytelling that doesn't revolve around the, the identity, you know, in order to, for the character to be worth, like, being included. Um, but I also do think that I, yeah, I, I'm not a but, but, and I also do want a chance to maybe work on a show. Like, I think I would love to work with a character for a while and really build that character out, you know, and not have it be like my identity is like, like, oh, only because you have the, like this, you're like worthy, you know, does that kind of make sense? We all want queer characters to be able to have lives outside of being queer. Exactly. Yes. It's, you exactly. know, it's a big part of who they are, but there's so much more, yeah. there's so much more problems in the world we can still yes. talk about. So, and I, absolutely. and I think just seeing that and like seeing the, yeah, humanity in the life of that. And, and like, I would love to do like something epic or something really like moving or something that doesn't revolve that like you just happen to see that part of you, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And it was teased to me that you have some big roles coming up and I don't know how much you can talk about it, but if you can say anything about yes. what's coming up for you. Okay. So I am going to be a part of Never Have I Ever season three. Wow. Um, I'm super excited. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it feels very, I, I'm super grateful because I think they're, you know, it's, it's different from zombies, but I love both the projects and it's such an iconic show. Um, and the cast is great. And obviously the writing is great. So I, I just love that show, but I am going to be a part of season three, which is coming out August 12th. I that's think that's piece. what I can say. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, Which I think one? that's all the questions I have, unless you have anything else you wanted to share and then um, questions. 
we, we worked really hard on this. We made this for you all. We made this for the fans. Um, I can't wait to see what everyone gets from it. And hopefully they get so much, you know? Yeah, I, I, I hope they love Aspen and just the whole movie. I know there's a doll too. I just had oh to throw that out Oh my there. That's gosh. So exciting. Yes. So I did, they released the doll like June 1st, like for pre-orders. And I literally was in my bed, like just scrolling on Instagram. And then some, well, like one of my friends sent it to, or something. And I was like, what? Or I saw it like Disney. And I was like, oh. so I was finding out at the same time. And yeah, iconic. The content around the dolls is, is very, very lovely. People are like welcoming Terry into the world. Like, you know, and it's, it's very sweet, but um, yeah, it's Disney's first non-binary doll. And they use, they, them pronouns on the box and description. It's super iconic. You can get it online i hope i think maybe one day it'll go in store somewhere but in the meantime um get your doll get your aspen doll absolutely i mean it's so amazing to have an aspen yeah. doll and yeah absolutely. like you said the descriptions and it looks great it's so it's got 11 points of articulation 12 inches tall removable shoes caitlin done plug what this. else could plug you this. want what yeah. else i don't really don't know i'm just yeah i have nothing else to say yeah <laughs> wonderful um, Thanks so much for having me.